going to partition it a different way, and I would like you to write a number sentence describing that. I'm going to partition it like this. So, what have I got in this part? What have I got in this part? Who can tell me what I've got in this part? Charlie, what's in this part? Two kilograms. And Charlie, what's in this part? 1.5 kilograms. Can you write a number sentence explaining that for me, please? Off you go, everybody. So a different way of making up 3.5 kilograms. So how would you do that then? Do you want me to do it? Okay, so we've got two kilograms and then we have 1.5 kilograms. And so 3.5. Um, Okay, um, so who can come and complete the number sentence that represents this way of partitioning 3.5 kilograms? Okay, Dylan, up you come. So, um, because there's two kilograms, you put um, two kilograms here, and, the, and there's 1.5, one, um, one kilogram and five tenths of a kilogram, so it would be one point five um, kilograms. Fantastic. And I'm going to partition it one other way. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to move this across and I've partitioned it in a different way again. Can you write the number sentence about that please? One kilogram plus 2.5 kilograms. Good. And don't forget, come in the equal sign in here to show that these two are equivalent to 3.5 kilograms. Okay. So what does that one represent, Callum? Um, there's one ten. There's one kilogram. Can you say that? The one represents one kilogram. Say it again. The one represents there's one kilogram. Can you see that in the picture, the one kilogram? Okay. What does the two represent? There's two, two tens. No, two. Kilograms. Good boy. Two kilograms add 2.5 two kilograms, kilograms equals 3.5 kilograms. So who can come and write that number sentence up on the board for me that you've just done? So talk us through what you're doing, darling. Well, um, it, it's basically the same. You just have to um, swap the one and the two around. So the one, the one goes there, and then the two goes. Thanks, Maisie. Can you read your number sentence out to us? Three point five kilo, kilo grams equals one point one point kilo one kilogram at two point five kilograms. OK, Maisie has written one point kilogram, OK? So she read it out and said one kilogram, that's right. Can we use a decimal point when we've just got one whole kilogram? Felix, could I do it with a decimal point? Yes, you could, because you could do 0 0.3 kilograms plus 0 0.7 kilograms, which will equal the whole number. Good, that's equivalent as well. Can you look at this? Have you seen this? for 1.0 kilograms. We've not done it this set of lessons, but you might have seen that. Has anyone seen that? Does it look a bit familiar? And so some of you it will look unfamiliar. We are going to use Janelle's rule again to help us understand this number. What does the one represent? What does the one represent? Who can tell me that? What does the one represent? Yeah, Hamza. 
that there's zero tenths of Good. a kilogram. Good. How do we know that that's the tenths? Because it's on the right hand side of the decimal point. Fantastic. So, Maisie, I can write 1.0 kilograms or I can write one kilogram. The thing that we don't ever write for some reason is just one point. So that's right and that's right. But we never, for some reason, Maisie, write one point kilograms, okay? So that one we can't write in our, our maths rules, so, but those are both equivalent.